This 15 minute demonstration will show you how to take a MD3000i, get it out of the box, configure it up such that it can provide iSCSI storage to a host. The configuration that I chose is such. I used two independent switches for redundancy reasons to provide data flow from the host to the MD3000i. This is a typical configuration even though there are many variations of, of cabling. Once you've cabled it up and racked it in your server rack as such, typically takes 15-20 minutes to plug in the four iSCSI cables and two power cables and, and a couple cables for your hosts. Um, then you proceed here, you have, go to your host and, and the first thing you kind of want to do and, and think about is okay how do I install the modular disk storage manager to create storage on my MD3000i and, and hand it off to hosts and create snapshots and such. So that brings up a point. Obviously besides the unit itself you have a CD-ROM that comes with a tool, a configuration tool that lets you get up and running quickly providing storage to your host in your environment. I will launch the CD what we want to do now is install the modular disk storage manager and again that's the name for the management tool to provision storage for your iSCSI hosts. So let's just go and select this here and it's just telling us it will make some registry settings um, such that uh, we can fail over in a timely manner so let's allow that and now we will install MDSM modular disk storage manager I'm going to install full installation. This means besides the MDSM, I will install the drivers necessary to provide iSCSI stores to this host. So I have a kind of a hybrid action here. So we're done installing the MD3000i stored software, MDSM. So let's restart the computer. And the next steps is configuration, which what we're going to do here is configure the MD3000's management ports with IPs, the uh, iSCSI ports with IPs, and we'll do some initial configuration for the iSCSI host. Now obviously we installed the MD3000i stored software. We're done with that one-time setting. Now let's run the configuration utility to uh, complete our uh, initialization tasks here. So yeah, let's configure the array. Let's, let's, let's automatically discover arrays and by the way the IP addresses here um, down below are the default IP management ports for the IPs for the MD3000i and, and, and we've discovered an array here and all we're going to do now is rename the array to whatever that you like. We'll bypass the password settings for now. and. Uh, Let's specify each management port that sits on each controller. Now again, um, we'll just type in the IP address that's required for your environment. No single point of failure so we can management through an alternate IP address on the alternate controller. We'll 
keep uh, the IP setting at uh, version 4 and, and configure the uh, iSCSI ports now. So we're going to do configuration of uh, four iSCSI ports with IP addresses. So the first one here, let's uh, just enter the, uh, the IP address for our environment. We'll go to the second IP address for the iSCSI port and enter what we need here. Same for the third on the alternate controller and the fourth iSCSI port for the other controller. I choose to leave the gateway alone where I have independent switches so there's no routing here. Um, the last question here is do we want to um, configure mutual authentication with CHAP? Uh, we can do that later. The uh, iSCSI summary screen with IPs of the management ports and iSCSI ports look good. Let's apply these settings to the MD3000i and that array is at this point configure. Uh, we won't configure another array if so, we just repeat what we've just shown you. By the way, the uh, we can configure up to three arrays, MD3000 arrays in a uh, iSCSI en environment. Uh, so let's let's configure the host, and I want this host here at the desktop to um, get its iSCSI storage from this array, um, which which has these IP addresses for its iSCSI ports. Let's connect to all four of them for redundancy and performance reasons. Uh, we, we can, again, connect up to three arrays from this host, MD3000 arrays from this host, but we, we're, let's just stick to one. 